So if you ever wanted to do some simple squash and stretch animations on your rig and you look up blender tutorials and then there's these 15 minute long setups of multiple bones and one bone controlling another and all this crazy stuff and all you want to do is some simple little effect. Well, while there may be instances where those more complex setups are necessary, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to just get a simple squash and stretch animation on a basic rig. So for this example, I'm just going to use the default cube, just going to give it one subdivide and add two bones just to give it a little bit more complexity and flexibility just to see if there's any kind of un wanted effects that might happen with the simple method. Just do a quick little weight paint here to make sure the bones are affecting only the parts of the cube that I want them to. Just to simulate the setup that you might have for an actual rig. As you can see the bones are affecting the cube the way I want them to. And with our armature selected in pose mode you can see when I go to scale the object here on the z-axis it's just kind of affecting it the way you might expect. So if we go down here to the bones constraint tab go to add a bone constraint and then we go over here to the maintain volume constraint when we add that to our root bone and as you can see when I scale on the z-axis here we're basically getting an automatic squash and stretch deformation. And that's it, you're done. As you can see here in this example animation that I made, I basically just animated the box going across the floor, put in a few keyframes for when I wanted it to squash down, when I want it to hop up and elongate, and then come back down and squash down again and then return back to its normal volume. So there you go. Very simple, very quick, and very easy. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.